Hi guys, Tim, Hemisphere Garage. Um, we have today this uh, beautiful um, 1993 Saab 900 Turbo. Um, we had it for sale for a couple of uh, months and uh, to, uh, today it's been sold to a very, very uh, nice uh, Saab enthusiast. Um, so uh, for our uh, first uh, YouTube channel video, uh, we wanted to, uh, to show it to you. Uh, it is now sold, but um, uh, this is uh, pretty much the condition of the cars uh, we are restoring here in our garage. So um, on the base, this is a uh, 1993 uh, Saab 900 S, so it means soft pressure turbo. Uh, this car uh, has been converted to a high pressure turbo uh, hemisphere garage style, so this means it's got a couple of uh, mechanical upgrades that brings it to, uh, to uh, around 195 to 200 horsepower. Um, although the uh, engine is completely restored, so this uh, upgrade is going to be done uh, in about 4,000 uh, 4, kilometers. So customer will have to, uh, to come back to, uh, to do this upgrade. So basically you have all the details available on our website uh, under the for sale section uh, if the car is still for sale. This one has been sold, as I said, so it's going to be under the sold section. Um, so basically, every, every details are uh, shown over there. Uh, but we wanted to uh, uh, spread up our, um, let's say, uh, function here at the, at the garage and uh, present it on the video so you can uh, look at it in live. So basically, this car has, has had a... Uh, near complete paint the job done on it, except the roof and the trunk. Uh, this uh, was discussed uh, by ourselves, so we wanted to just keep it um, as original as possible, and the roof and the trunk were uh, pretty much in an okay condition, so we kept it this way. Uh, it has been polished, for sure. Uh, but basically all the rest has been painted in other on the gray, that's the color. Uh, I hope it also has been uh, redone with new seals. Uh, the car has been uh, driven a few times uh, and, um, and shown around at, at shows, uh, car shows, etc. So it's, it's showing a, a couple of uh, little uh, marks here and there, but this is just nothing. Um, so uh, the car has uh, always been driven. Uh, it's got today about 300,000 kilometers, uh, but the, the engine has been redone, gearbox and uh, pretty much everything. Um, we are doing uh, quite a few details now on our restoration. So this one, uh, we're not uh, too far gone on the, on the details. So uh, all the bolts and everything are, are original. Um, interior is also uh, uh, redone with new seats, uh, leather. Uh, we did a two-tone uh, color. You will see that later when I'm going to show you uh, around in the interior. Um, so, uh, new headlights, new uh, corner indicator, new repel indicator, a uh, little bag on the side, turbo badge uh, to show it around and uh, to show that it's been a, a great our style. On this car, we have uh, added a lot of details and, uh, and uh, accessories from back in the days, just the, the sun shade from the roof, yeah. So uh, this is the original Saab, it was NOS. Uh, this is a couple of uh, items we added to the car. Uh, we also added a uh, uh, trunk spoiler, the famous uh, whale tail. But this is a replica and fiberglass and we've done a uh, little matching color to look alike the, the rubber um, edge, but uh, it's still in fiberglass. So this is uh, a nice uh, replica done by ourselves. Um, third brake light, as you can see in the interior. On the side, it's got the air vent covers. Um, it's a really, really good car. Customer, initially the car was sold with the Ronald Turbo and the customer wanted to have uh, the Ronald 15 uh, rims uh, with this car. So to look like more original and we did a, a full restoration on the rims. So they're looking brand new. Um, we're going we're gonna to show you uh, around on the underside of the car later with the lift, uh, but for now you're seeing the car as it is now.
And uh, now we're going to show you the engine compartment. So uh, this, as I said, has been uh, completely uh, restored on the engine in the gearbox. So the gearbox is a standard exchange from Saab. Uh, so it's looking very sweet. Um, engine has been redone. It's a 2.0 liter. Uh, based on a soft pressure turbo with a Lucas injection. Uh, we added a couple of um, upgraded items, such as the famous DO88 intercooler front mounted. Uh, there are also uh, aluminum radiator and all their hoses. Uh, this company in Sweden is amazing. They do an uh, uh, amazing job on the, on the hoses, pre-made hoses and everything. So we are really happy to work with them. Uh, they, they come in various colors, but we choose to, uh, to put the black on those cars because we want to keep on the original specs. As you can see, all the bolts and metal pieces of the engine has been the yellow zinc plated. Uh, this is the detail we do here. Uh, to look like uh, when it was original by Saab. Uh, this is rust proof for another 20 years and more. So uh, it's really looking shiny. Uh, this car is without uh, AC. So uh, uh, my personal point of view on this is uh, you've got enough windows to, uh, to have fresh air, but uh, uh, we can add uh, AC, no problem, depending on the customer wishes. Um, all the details on the engine as well also have been uh, uh, pushed a little bit further. Uh, we found a couple of uh, NOS items again, such as the AAC valve and everything. So this is, uh, this is new old stock. Uh, distributor has been redone completely with new seals. Um, like really freshly done uh, all around. Uh, we choose to put uh, uh, kind of black, matte black stru structural paints uh, showed up really nice. Also on the intake manifold and everything. That's all the details. Turbo has been done new. Uh, engine mounts and everything. Go on the website, you can check those details. Everything is, deta is detailed over there. Um, while we're here, uh, we can see the fresh new headlights. Uh, uh, New tank, we were cooling tank, uh, all those little hose, the vacuum hose, everything is uh, new. Uh, all the seals of the engine also is uh, is new. This uh, this uh, brings a lot of uh, trouble with the with the um, function of the engine when the, the seals are, are old and the cracked and the air is coming in. Uh, injectors have been tested, cleaned, they work perfectly. Um, Inside of the uh, bonnet has been uh, also painted, so uh, we we bring the details really really far on this uh, on the, our restoration. Um, so yeah, it's looking sweet. So I'm going to show you the interior, but just before the interior, uh, all our uh, cars comes with uh, this uh, exhaust from Simmons. Uh, we do a custom in-house. Um, a modification to have uh, the ability to change uh, the catalytic from original to uh, to race, and the customer has the free choice to change it for the for the uh, for the time, maybe for the inspection or something like that, and then run a a, a larger and more open uh, uh, catalyst. So it's coming also with the car. Uh, we when we sell the car, it's coming in a box. So the original uh, cat is in the box. Our interior is original. It has been cleaned very very much. Um, this kind of stuff is original, uh, but the leather is new, so it's looking uh, very nice. Uh, when we sell the cars, we add a couple of items for the customer, so uh, the customer is, gonna, is going to be really happy. A book from, uh, from Saab that shows all the history. This is a really, really nice uh, gift to give for either a Christmas gift or a customer when you buy the car. I will also add, uh, depending on the interior, but a leather kit to uh, take care of the leather. It's a really nice couple of items like that. Um, then about the uh, interior, uh, we choose to, uh, to put a uh, cognac leather, that was the name, uh, and to do this uh, two-tone um, uh, style thing. So uh, this is original from the car. It's uh, called Buffalo Gray or something. Uh, and then we choose to keep it, to keep it like this, but then we added a, uh, a leather to uh, to make that two tone thing. So as you can see, the the the, the leather is uh, is uh, used to be new, but has been used uh, by ourselves. 
this, because this car has been slowly restored uh, over the years and now it's sold so it's showing a couple of um, used stuff such as the entrance of the side of the of the seats but the customer is really happy with this and it's part of the of the usage carpet is original has been clean and we added a fresh set of uh, mats with the Saab Scania logo. We added a Nardi steering wheel. This is uh, an accessory from back in the day and uh, uh, Nardi still make those with the Saab Scania logo horn. And this car is original with a um, airbag system that uh, has been removed. So the, the airbag from the steering and the steering wheel has been removed. And then we added a uh, custom in-house system that allows you to keep the system uh, without any default. And uh, when the customer wants to put back a uh, airbag system, uh, there's nothing to worry about, any uh, warning light, anything like that. So it's, uh, it's nice. The other side, passenger side. We also added a uh, window deflector. You might saw it on the previous uh, image. I forgot to uh, told you about that. Um, dashboard. We found a uh, very, very, very good unit, second-hand unit, uh, without a uh, big cracks. There is just a few uh, small ones starting from uh, from the side of the, of the speakers, but really, as a second-hand unit. 25 years old, this is really, really good condition. It's fairly original. Uh, you can see those uh, buckle seats for the seat belts. The press button is brand new. Um, yeah. Righty, and um, now we're gonna have a small test drive so you can, uh, you can see how the car uh, sound and, and behave on the road. Uh, and then we'll put it up on the lift so you can see the other side and uh, you, will, uh, you will be able to, uh, to check what uh, kind of work we do on the other side so a, a place that uh, usually customer doesn't see and uh, it's for us really important. Right guys, let's hit the road. It's in this uh, 1993 Saab 900 Turbo S Eduardo Gray. We're doing a, a round of the garage. So I forgot to mention, but we have a uh, short shifter uh, with a rebuilt uh, shifting assembly. Uh, this had a uh, tighter and more precise filling on the ch uh, changing of the gears. Um, this piece is actually a handmade piece from uh, one fellow Saab enthusiast in Sweden. Um, his name is Fred. It's an amazing, uh, amazing uh, piece of uh, art, uh, full aluminum. And it's really, really presses. Uh, no more wobbly uh, shifter wobbling around. So, uh, we are right above Veuve. This uh, this town is uh, is about 20 minutes from Lausanne in Switzerland. Uh, it's a really nice uh, scenery as you can see here. Uh, just a couple of uh, meters until we see the scenery from the garage. It's just amazing. Wow! And the safety for uh, the safety seat belts for uh, safety reasons. So 
nobody can see uh, and mention something. Um, so this gearbox is actually a primary eight, means all the gears are a bit longer. Uh, this uh, primary gears ratio was uh, put on some of the cars, depending on the market, uh, mainly in Germany for the Autobahn highway. Uh, it's better fitting when you drive on the highway, all the, the gears are longer, but especially the fifth gear. Uh, it allows you to cru cruise a bit more uh, on the highway with the lower RPM. As you can hear, the sound is amazing on this car, uh, thanks to the race cat. If you put the original exhaust, the, uh, the sound is not the same, it's more original, uh, but because of the, the exhaust we choose to, to put on it, uh, the sound is, uh, is still a bit more sportier than the original. Uh, everything is working on the dash. We got a uh, request from the customer to put an old school radio. Uh, this is a Nakamichi. Uh, it was original when the car uh, when we bought it. Uh, so uh, customer wanted this. It's with a CD player, it's working. Uh, all the ventilation stuff is working. All the buttons here are working. Headlights, taco, everything is working. We have here on the car 317 thousand kilometer uh, but everything as we said and as you saw on the car has been redone so it's uh, it's like a, a new car uh, this guy is actually ready uh, to be delivered to the customer he's actually coming tomorrow so uh, we got the the fuel to the top uh, the vignette Swiss vignette so uh, this is a, a few details we also add for the customer I mean Swiss customer when, uh, when he buys a car Uh, the engine is still under in break-in, so we uh, we did uh, 500 kilometers since new, since rebuilt. Uh, we did a uh, the first oil change after 500 kilometers. We did the first oil change with the filter. Uh, everything is went perfect, uh, and then um, we did the next one later uh, after around 4,000, uh, and then uh, that's when we can pretty much do the, the upgrade on the engine. So a customer will have to uh, do a break-in procedure on this car. Uh, we highly recommend it. I changed the gear really slow because everything is uh, still tight, new. So uh, we we allow the gearbox and everything to just settle in, and uh, no scratch, no uh, crack, and everything. We just uh, take things gentle, take time. Turbo has been rebuilt, as I said, and you can really feel the, the difference of, uh, of a rebuilt turbo or newer turbo uh, compared to an, uh, an old one. Uh, we have uh, about uh, 30 cars in stock, 30 subs, and uh, there's nothing compared to a, a rebuilt turbo, that's for sure. This one kicks in like it's a baby. So we'll go back to the garage now and put it up on the lift so you can see the on the side of the car. Uh, if you have any question regarding the car, you can uh, call me. Uh, all the, the information is our, all the details, contact details are on the website. We, you can find us on Facebook, you can find us on Instagram. Uh, I'll reply to all your requests, all your questions. Uh, If you have any questions regarding what we do, no problem. I wanted to say if you have questions regarding this car before buying, but it's too late now. It's sold. But we've got a, a few ones coming in out of restoration pretty soon. So uh, be sure to check us out. 
from time to time. Alright, so this is the other side of our 1993 Saab 900 Turbo S three door IRO, uh, although rather grey. Um, so uh, compared to the to the other one we have for sale and uh, that's probably sold uh, soon. Um, this one uh, we kept the bolts and everything to the to their original condition. Uh, at the time we didn't have any supplier that was doing this uh, this um, uh, gold zinc treatment. So uh, they 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 have been sprayed with a uh, with um, a uh, high temp grease. So. Uh, it's really sticky and uh, there's no, uh, no, no water staying on it. Um, so again, uh, control arms reinforced, uh, Wilstein B6 uh, shocks, lowering springs, all the, the, the bushings also with the Powerflex Heritage Collection, uh, calipers, discs, pads, bolt joints, CV axle. They look like it, they have been used, but this car, as I said there earlier, have been driven a few times to the show. We, uh, we, uh, we drive it. We driven it. Uh, we drove it. Sorry, before uh, uh, the engine restoration uh, to show it around. So um, it has been used, but it's in the perfect condition, and, uh, and uh, there's no difference except the beauty on this uh, on this on the side. Uh, so we, you can see also the, the the gearbox, the rebuilt gearbox, the block as well uh, from uh, from uh, from. The other side, uh, we have this uh, also. Uh, that's uh, what we put on every car. It's a, a new um, uh, oil cooler from Do88. Another piece of jewelry they they built. Uh, we add this to every car we uh, we built, so uh, it's fresh and new. Uh, the, the steering rack has been controlled and revised. Uh, I talked about the CV axles, yeah, uh, brakes, brake uh, hoses. Uh, also here the race cap with this uh, custom uh, uh, rapid swap. Uh, as you can see, this is original. We added a, uh, a, layer, a layer of uh, rust protection with black paint to this area because it tends to heat up and uh, to rust faster than the rest of the of the piece. Uh, and at the back, uh, also uh, sandblasted and painted black for all the, the the chassis parts. So those ones are out of rust for a really, really big moment. Fuel uh, filter, uh, Bechstein shocks, long springs, pump stop. Also here, uh, brake uh, hoses, calipers, discs, everything new. Original Saab. Um, thanks, Chad. We have a supplier that uh, make them in uh, um, stainless steel. So uh, we, uh, we love this, uh, this upgrade. Uh, although we keep the old one and we uh, zinc plate, uh, yellow zinc plated them, so we have them installed also the original one. You can see that ending of the twin pipe is amazing. I love this uh, ending. It's kind of our signature. Check out those inner side of the rims. Uh, our uh, guy that we do them, he we do them uh, inside out, and. Uh, we can ask any any particular uh, details we want with the with the rims. He's doing them, so this one has been done gray original, and uh, inside also inside the tire they, they they do it. So when the when we redo those rims, they are completely done. This one has a uh, a bit of uh, asphalt treatment on the other side, but uh, uh, not everywhere, and uh, we kept it uh, the way it is. So this one is really, really uh, close to original on most of the stuff, except for the chassis parts. We we love doing that because it's they they look rusty and stuff. So uh, those ones are black painted. 